It was not even a degree. Dude. Is Hannah's Tron on turn three? <laughs> Why are we saying my... I don't know. Family, I don't know. Secrets. <laughs> I mean, we. I'm sorry. If, com, I'm sorry if I if you feel like I've said too much. On stream. <laughs> we can stop talking about it. Um. Tracksuits. <laughs> yeah, Russians love Adidas. <laughs> Adidas tracksuits. Is there another donut deck today? Yes, there is. It's Mono Blue Tron again for the second week in a row. Surely some of the four should be snow covered. One of them is Simon. So the idea is that you fetch the snow covered one really aggressively, and then any forest you draw beyond that is gonna be a regular one. <laughs> they said Esther must be the competent sibling. Esther is the competent sibling. <laughs> and you are the competent sibling. Yeah. Although I I wouldn't say that that's because I'm very competent. <laughs> you guys can infer what you will from that. But we're about to make a 6-6 six, six shark on turn 4. It's pretty good. Shark? Typhoon? Shark? Shark? Typhoon? Oh, I think that hat is already shipping. Oh, that's good. I got an email. Let me check. Yeah, this is Gentleman's Tron. Yeah, it's already shipping. Yeah, I mean, there, I think there's just two different schools on, of thought, Simon, about the, the Snowland split. I think that the one that we were just doing is like a little underexplored, but it's possible that you're, you're kind of maybe just trying outsmarting yourself by doing a split like that, if that makes sense. Ha, ah, we were mono blue Tron all along. Although I don't know why they, I think they maybe should have just upkeep that. Um, yeah, I think this is a good time to jam. I was a little worried about force of negation Seems good though. Should be game over. Ugin and Shark Typhoon's kind of a nambo. Yeah, I agree that I don't think it matters very much. Hmm. We can feel the so we can nimble obstructionist the field trigger. Let me go and repeal a zombie, Ugin a zombie. We don't quite have enough mana to sack the slaver this turn, but we can obstructionist. Can also ultimate Uga next turn. I don't think that's the first time I've heard you say that, Simon. <laughs> say that about Simon as Kanta. <laughs> Tell your opponents don't know deck day and that you don't know. Well, that is true. Dude, Obstructionist is so sick. Well, that that game the deck looked really really good. Is Shark Typhoon plus Mind Slaver just a larger Splinter Twin? Yes, yes it is. Now you're getting it. I guess can this is probably the confounding conundrum matchup. I guess I am kind of excited to to play with confounding conundrum. I haven't actually cast the card yet, but there's been of course just a ton of hype around it. Um, and I don't think it's very good, but this this does seem like the matchup against the Uro deck, the Million Fetch Land Omnath deck. Don't think we want Crucible or Tech Edge. We're spreading seas. I think this is the sideboard plan. Why two elixir? It's Dono deck Thursday, man. Shit gets crazy. Shit, nothing makes sense, man. What is the deck tech point redemption? They um can uh, redeem that and then 
submit a deck to a deck for me to look at. Mm. I think I'd rather keep the ruins in the deck and then exile the. It's the same as confidence boost, except confidence boost. You have to say something nice. Mm -hmm. Maybe I was supposed to put back the <laughs> ballista. So whenever you're ready for that deck tech, I'll take a look at it. We have the right, the perfect number of Urza's Mines. How many Urza's Mines is too many Urza's Mines? Trick question. <laughs> no such thing. Expertly playing around Simeon Spirit Guide. Thoughts on if something like this has legs. Um, so yeah, so Hedron Crab does have legs. Has four legs. Barter Frost. You can't. You actually can't see. You can't see uh, if they have, if Barter Frost has legs, but I think we can assume. Secret Keeper. Um, I think has actually fins instead of legs. I was ruin crab legs for sure. Manic scribe again, not definitively in the art, but um, I think we can and we can maybe guess legs. It might be a little ableist, but I'm gonna say yes. I think legs. There are legs in this picture. Um, yes. Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I you know I I did play a deck like this in the past. Um, I think that. One interesting thing with Martyr Frost is being able to return it with Luris every single turn. So I think that you are incentivized to play Luris. I, I kind of, I kind of think, and I, I, I do think Sky Hussar is cute with all the crabs. I think that maybe you could try to find something different though than Martyr Frost. When I played a deck like this in the past, uh, Martyr Frost kind of felt like the, uh, the worst part of the deck. I'm going to keep both, I think, here. Not sure about this. I might wait on the conundrum until I can play two spells. So I guess I should, maybe should have put the condescend on top instead of the conundrum. Um, so maybe, I think I'll try to find a different one drop. But I, I like I like the idea of Sky Hussar with mill creatures. I do, I do like the idea. Um, and those are my thoughts. Maybe I'm supposed to put back the second Urza's Mind instead of uh, the field, too. This list is not playing the buyback counterspell. I kind of think that the that one's Days in the Sun are over. I think I'm going to play the map and not crack it. They're obviously struggling to hit land, so I'm pretty interested to... Okay. Okay, have fun. They're going to force my expedition map. It's fine. We've done it. We've cast Confounding Conundrum. It's not even clear that it's better than just like trying to put a counter on the Ballista because their life total is so dangerous. But I think with the Condescended it is better. We could have also drawn a land to have land number four for this. Yeah, they, they're just dead if we counter this, so I'll counter it. <laughs> the fourth Urge is mine. It's funny. I'll keep the Thirst, but we just put a counter on Ballista and then kill them. The old turn one ballista got there. Just actually did 20 damage. <laughs> Am I gonna be playing blue white shark blade tomorrow? Maybe. Um, I have a few different things I'm thinking about playing tomorrow. Um, I do not really like the idea of playing one specific deck on a day. Um, if that makes sense. Like I've never really liked the idea of saying I'm gonna play X deck on Monday, Y deck on Tuesday. Um, now, I think the, the Thursday donation decks do spice things up um, to a good extent, in my opinion, and uh, I am happy to get to do these. 
but I think that shoehorning yourself like that, not just playing what you want when you want because you've made these commitments is can can be a bit of a trap. Am I running Trellion's old school list? No, I'm actually playing, um, if you look at the trophy leaderboard, monochrome's mono blue uh, list. Well, I guess I'm gonna get power plant here, play it. I can bounce the scourge next turn and take at least one hit. How did my viewer numbers change on Dono Thursdays? Well, we're having a bit of a weird day today because my stream crashed um, a couple times. But usually, uh, it's usually it's less, but not like that much less. Oh, this is Shock Troopers list. I didn't know that. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, repealed main phase to see if maybe if we drew a different land, we'd want to cast it. We're gonna be one mana short of Worm Coil. So I guess we have to hope they don't have a burn spell. If they don't have a burn spell, we're doing okay. I think I'm also supposed to main phase this. Let's see if we drew a map to play. I don't think they're gonna like play around a counter spell too hard. So we're dead to any burn spell, team or battle rage. Oh, or uh, yeah, or shock land, jeez. Stinks. Stinks, stinks, stinks. So ley lines look good to me, entrancing melody looks good. Explosives looks good. Trinosphere is maybe good. I kind of like the idea. I think I don't like the Cyclonic Rift seems so medium to me. Mind Slayer is probably not like the big payoff we want. I also don't really understand the gifts in the deck. Hmm. Yeah, def definitely better on the play. That's a good point. Ballista seems not that good to me. I mean, it, it's very good if we have Tron. We cut two Condescend. Is Leyland that good? Um, yeah, I think so. They play a lot of burn and discard spells. And they they are trying to burn you a lot. Cut the Obstructionist. I think they, I feel like the Obstructionists are, are good. Maybe maybe they're not. Obviously, I'm just fumbling with Mono Blue Tron. It's not like a deck I ever play. Cut the Gemstone Mine on the play. Hmm, interesting. I think that that's probably good. There's just so many moving pieces, but I'll just get I'll just get a little bit better at playing Tron every single week. What are the better Tron decks? Mono Green and Eldrazi. You got it, Hobbit. Am I excited for Commander Legends? I am excited for Commander Legends. Um, I actually bought a Commander deck, uh, but not one that's playing any Legends cards. But I'm gonna get into the format a little bit more. Um, the one you're wearing, I think. Your surprise melody hasn't become more popular with all these Lurus decks running around. I do think it's good against them. I am a little worried about, um, I am a little worried about the double blue for this deck. Well, there's Tron. Uh, I think it's, it's fine. Okay, if you like that one more, you didn't need to ask me. <laughs> Do you want this shirt or this shirt? Sometimes your opinion is good. <laughs> All right, gonna need a good thirst for knowledge. It's not a good thirst for knowledge. I'll discard mine in an island. Interesting draw. Go to one if they have TBR. I think we just need to draw Ugin. Yeah. 
Can't double dismember there. Stings. Yeah, but I wish I had. I mean, I wish I had any anything in my hand. My mono blue Tron is. I do think it's a deck that I don't completely understand. I, I really wish that someone could articulate like why like why is like this why gifts and given why only one shark typhoon why two mind slaver and you know there are mono blue tron players like that that, that just is a reality there are mono blue tron players i think we just have to keep the hand like this Teleri west okay I, I guess that 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 is something that, that that's an explanation that is a why that is a why for sure um thank you now i keep dismember to play around fours Gifts is guaranteed Tron with one land out. So you get map. How is it guaranteed Tron? You get T West, the Tron piece you want, map, and something else. And I know it's a, you know, it's it feels just kind of run into the ground to say, you know, but why not play mono green Tron? But I just don't. There's so many things I just don't get. Yeah, I know. I know Trellion. I, I raid Trellion all the time. I guess maybe I just don't uh, watch closely enough. Opponents on a brew. Yeah, sorry, Trellion. I I was told. I I did find out recently. That's how you pronounce Trellion's username. But I've kind of got it hardwired into my head too pronounce it this way yeah I, I don't I don't know either I just don't know like what I really don't know in, in what ways mono blue Tron exceeds over mono green you know and I, I I know that that's the joke right that that or not the joke but just like the thing that people have just beaten into the ground uh yeah if you're gonna wear those pants So, I hope I hope that this doesn't come across as me complaining, as I I really just genuinely am trying to understand. You pronounce the underscore. I'm not gonna. No way. I refuse. The underscore isn't silent. Get out of here. I think mono green, I, I, mono green is not as easy for sure. I absolutely agree with that. Mono green it has a lot of play to it, um, but that doesn't mean that it's it's not better than blue, right? And like it's just more consistent than blue. I think I'm gonna remand my own Ugin. <laughs> okay, so this is why you play mono blue, right? You just remand your own Ugin. You feel like Bluetron isn't a deck you play if you're hundred percent concerned with winning. So that that's probably true. It's probably true. Maybe comparing Green Tron and Blue Tron is a trap just because they both have Tron lands does not mean they're similar decks. That's maybe true as well. It's, it's the deck is certainly a Phenomenon. No denying that. Okay, I sound better. Yeah, you did. Good, yeah, yes, nice. Mm -hmm. Are we gonna get Nimble Obstructionist? Okay. That would be cool though. Why remand Ugin and not force? Uh, because if they just had another blue card, they would force again. Opponent's playing a cool deck. Clash of the Titans, blue red, or blue white tempo versus mono blue Tron. Modern is just kind of awesome right now. Like this is it's not it's just not that uncommon that you see two 
two decks like this clashing against each other. I mean, I guess you only see it if you are one of the people playing a deck like this. But this modern has been really cool for a while. When are we going to play Mono Redtron? When someone donates for it, I guess. Kind of sounds fun. <laughs> Alright, every deck is a tempo deck. I said tempo, no! Is my opponent going to let me Mind Slaver them? It's pretty nice of them. It's not that good when they're just, you know, top decking, I suppose, but... I kind of want to see if I can see what's in their deck. I think I'm just going to play the Snapcaster and not do anything. And then... Get to ultimate this Ugin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's been a long time since I've ultimated an Ugin. So I wonder what this deck sideboard plan against blue white is. Probably not in the sideboard guide, huh? So brought out the Rift, a Sundering Titan, maybe a Mind Slaver too. Well, we can keep this. The frequency of this matchup is why I got burned out on Modern. That is a great shit post. Bye, sweetheart. Opponent has turn turn two flipped Delver twice in a row. You gotta you gotta feel happy for him. I think. Do I not think Blue Tron makes unwinnable matchups for Green Tron like Infect and Storm better? Um, it does. I think Blue Tron is still not favored against either of those decks, but has better matchups. And also, neither of those decks are super popular. But like d decks like that, yes, in general. Um. You are right that it makes these matchups better, but I, I think I do think that neither of those decks are popular very much at, at the moment of making this comment. No Tails End or Obstructionist, please. I think I'm gonna get mine over Power Plants close though. They're like basically the same here. Hard to say for sure which is the correct one to get. Oh, no, I think it was supposed to be power plants. Yeah, that was a mistake. Now I'll, I'll try to tighten it up. It's, it's tough. It's tough. The deck is pretty, you know, there's a lot going on here. I think I'm going to repeal Delver. I guess we I guess I guess maybe it was right to get the mine. Ended up working out. Um I, although I think I am gonna wait to play around force. Um, I think I'm just going to discard the two lands and then tutor up probably just a blue source. Kind of funny to discard one and then tutor one up, but it makes sense to me here. Um, I don't think it matters too much which one. Maybe getting a non-island is better against, you know, some number of Field of Ruin down the line, but I'd be pretty surprised if it mattered. Play a 2 2 Ballista here. Is Typhoon in Legacy? Uh, it sees some play in Legacy, yeah. To my understanding, I'm, I'm not, you know, as in tune with the format as I used to be. Kind of 
kind of like remanding this. It's pretty mana intensive on their part. I also kind of like all the cards in my hand. Yeah, the, the, the Replenish deck is really, really cool. So our opponent has, has shown us only blue lands, but they did show us a white duel in game one. It's kind of weird to have not seen them get a single white source yet this game. I don't really understand what that's all about. <sighs> Today is a weird day. This is a hard cast Shark Typhoon stream, as you guys all know. I could have done the Sonic Blast. All right, I'll try to do the face. I think that's too pain. I think that expression is too painful. What? Okay, how would you describe this facial expression in one word? I don't I'm not sure. This is a weird a weird face this dude's making. Tired. I don't think it's tired, maybe. Sexy. Ooh. Good word. Weary. I think weary is a good word. I like that one. All right. Maybe, maybe I said Shark Typhoon Ugin was a not a combo. Dude, they're just gonna give us another 8-8 shark. What a punt. Uh yes, please. No way. I'm not gonna let this happen. Not today, not to my shark. You wanna you want to pay as much mana to the condescend to get the biggest shark possible here, of course. Honestly, Shark Typhoon seems okay, I I know I'm a broken record and I know I love the card, but Shark Typhoon does just kind of seem like the perfect card for Blue Tron, and if I was gonna build the deck, I'd be playing four probably. Also, our opponent left in Vapor Snag against us. What card are we talking about? We're talking about Psionic Blast. Like, what is this? So, like, what did Wizards say? They say, we want a picture of a guy holding holding the head. Got, you know, a blast of, like, a blast of uh, some kind of magical energy around the head. And to express the feeling of four damage being dealt somewhere and two damage being dealt somewhere, make the person, make the guy... May having this facial expression. What kind of facial expression did wizards ask for here? It doesn't look like a headache. I, I feel like it's like a mixture of like honestly, his chin is just so you know he's just got this super duper Chad chin. It's really hard to to get past that. Maybe that's where I'm slipping up. No, no, no! It, it took. <laughs> They mystic sanctuaried the uh, they mystic sanctuaried the art so now we can't look at it anymore. They took it away from us. It's so sad. I wasn't done. Exasperation, maybe. I think I like that. Yeah. What is psionic blast tech for? Just having a removal spell in your mono blue deck. So the good thing about repealing the Snapcaster is nothing we do matters, and we're in garbage time. And this also attacks for lethal, so they have to have a removal spell here. You know what? We are we're actually dead to two Sonic Blasts, so this you know this makes them have to have two. They're they're drawing one next turn. No, wait, no way. 
Dude, we're about to lose. We're about to get double psionic blasted. No way. I was too cocky. If they play a land, I think we I think we're about to die. If they have land, two psionic blasts. No, 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 blast deals damage to them. <laughs> Never mind. Dude, but I, I I thought I thought for sure we were about to lose. I forgot it also deals damage to them. You know, one one interesting rule that maybe not everyone knows is that there is no limit to the amount of games you can draw in a match. There's no limit. Um, I've seen I've seen two draws in a match. I've seen a match in two one two one two before. Um, it's not very often that it happens. There's only a few ways. There's there's not there's oh. Is this the boil deck? It probably is. That's exciting. But the, but the, there's there's not that many ways to draw in Magic. Um, but when it happens, it's very exciting. Under the old redirect rules, could you assign self damage to a planeswalker? I don't believe so. No. How did the two one two occur? Flame Rift. Or is that the name of the card? The it's, it was a legacy match. Uh, two mana, deal four damage to each player. Yeah, it, it, it fl Flame Rift is like the main card that ends, that draws. It's like, but there's also like when Oblivion Ring was legal, if the only permanents in play were three Oblivion Rings, uh, that was an infinite loop. Oblivion Ring is an a uh, a uh, a May ability. And uh, it, you know they, they they just keep triggering over and over again, and if no player can interject, it's a draw. Opponent has revealed they're playing the breach deck, which is probably not a great matchup. Probably also means that we don't need to hold up a counter spell this turn. Although playing a talisman does sound kind of nice. Yeah, the LSV O-Ring Loop. Classic. I think I will condescend a Omen of the Sea here. Well, that's Tron, baby. Our Sundering Titan's going to be so bad against our opponent. Why main phase this? I think our opponent maybe doesn't know that this is an instant. I'll just do a force of negation check. Uh, opponent's playing breach, so we don't need to worry uh, four mana so much. And they got a lightning bolt. We got a lightning bolt. Everything is even over here. Guess I'm getting Mind Slaver. We're gonna hold up Remand. If our opponent does have Cryptic Command to bounce, okay, they, they can bolt the Ugin down to buy some time. But they would need to attack the Ugin with the Immercle. So we'll see if they found... Okay, they just conceded. Feels like a bit of an early concession because they just get to do this next turn and maybe attack Ugin if I have nothing. Oh, they knew about the Mind Slaver. Never mind. Never mind. All right, so the these removal spells are really bad. Um, Tech Edge seems okay, actually, to just keep them off of five mana. Yeah, also, like, why is there, like, one Crucible of Worlds with no way to tutor it up? Tutor it up? Something else I don't understand. I guess I can play the Gust, too. I mean, Gifts can tutor it. and I guess, Oh, then you have Academy Ruins. I see. Yeah, one Gifts and Given. Fair enough. Oh, I didn't cut the Sundering Titan. Ah. Well, hopefully we don't draw it. We can discard it to Thirst. These repeals are also really bad. 
bribery would be good i think bribery is i i've played with bribery in modern before um <coughs> it feels like a reasonable cyborg card against like primeval titan decks sometimes but it's probably not a card you're like super duper incentivized to play with what are the odds of repealing an Emrakul? Emrakul has protection from colored spells, so 0%. Opponent kept a two lander and didn't find a third land. I'm going to pick Urza's Mind to get here. And draw on Urza's Mind. Okay. We drew a map, as you guys can see. If I put it remands, I'll condescend the remand so that they don't get a uh, redraw. There's an Urza's Tower, which we don't have to keep since, of course, we have um, another map. But we can discard this map to Thirst for Knowledge, so I, I will keep. Main Phase Omen. Let's see if they find a land. They put two cards on the bottom. Unfortunate. Oh, no, opponent. That's so sad. I wonder if we should get this, try to get this blast stone up to 15. That doesn't actually seem un impossible, you know? Unpossible. They also have to go to discard here. I have more sympathy for my opponent because I built their deck. <laughs> uh, gonna discard the map, I think. Maybe I've discarded the second ballista. This is like, is this is like, like watching our sun fail? Yeah, exactly. But map gets academy ruins. Yeah. How important is that though? Yeah, I think I don't want to Mind Saber this turn. Yeah, they're stumbling. Kind of want to let them hit their fourth land drop at least. Right, so they get to kill the Ballista. We do. We are kind of choked on blue mana. Maybe I should held the talisman, but I think it's okay to be just a bit greedy. Got a lot of blue sources to draw on too, like we just did. All right, so I'll, I'll we'll go ahead and play another four four ballista, and then crack the mind stone. I think that they'll be dead. I guess I guess we would need sixteen mana to put four counters on the ballista to kill them. Which is probably not going to happen. Maybe they have a bolt in their hand. <laughs> they have a boil. If we return a card, uh, we get. To, yeah, I think we should draw here because we get to discard a card. And we'll discard this cryptic. How much banner do we have? We have six, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, a little short here. I think I'll just level twice. Oh, that, that's, that's true. I think we missed it. Um, I think we missed the lethal because of repeal. That's fine. We're three and one. I think we were three and one last week and then we lost our last round. It's kind of exciting. Two mines or three mines and a power plant. It's a mulligan, I guess. The old on the play gemstone mine. I'm going to keep and then I think put back the mine. 
not a Tron piece. Mystic Sanctuary. I think against Sanctuary, I, I do want to just play a 1 1 Ballista. Maybe I should have uh, kept the land over another Ballista. Not sure. Let's attack. I'm sorry to hear that, Tuki. Let's hope that you can at least relax a bit in the stream. Steam vents. Okay. Opt in response. So they're playing Blue Moon? Man, if we had if we had kept the land, it would have been really good, of course, here. No, come on, opponents. I don't deserve this. I'm the good guy. I'm playing Mono Blue Tron. I want to at least see what they're on before I pack it in. Can you donate your channel points to her? No, she has to earn them herself. I've been very clear on this matter. Are we going to get through the breach? They're targeting Bolt and not Opt. Interesting. Certainly a, a sign of strength. This this uh, thirst is gonna have, is gonna have to be pretty good. Uh, one Tron piece is good at least. I'm gonna I think I'm gonna put back the dismember and no nah, I'll I'll just put back the worm coil. You think Bolt means through the breach? I kind of hope so. I, I think the Cascade Bluffs means Kiki Jiki, actually. Right? Is that crazy? I think I think that that makes sense. Although, like, Pyro, it would be weird in a Kiki Jiki deck. Yeah, I think just like blue red delver, but the the cascade bluffs is really weird, especially with sanctuary. Like it certainly implies the presence of double red spells. I guess their elementals are red. I'm no expert, but I I uh, think that is a poggers or something. Well, the thing is, if they're playing Mystic Sanctuary, the, I mean, I guess if they have a, a basic mountain, this would help. But it just, it just doesn't seem to me like they're going to have so many red sources to filter into blue. I think I'm just going to do this now. They're playing field. We, do we know that for sure? Well, dead to a bolt. The very, very stylish upkeep bolt. We're in a weird league. We played against some some brews, dude. Hmm. The main deck seems reasonable to me here. I'm not sure that we really want entrancing melody. Explosives. What am I listening to? I'm listening to uh, the Tower of God soundtrack right now. I'll play one. I'll play the explosives. Yeah, I, th I really think Shark Typhoon just—it seems like such a good fit for this deck. I don't know why 
Mono Blue Tron players haven't been adapting it. Yeah, I think Rack is the best girl. For sure. One of my favorite characters. It's it's hard for me to listen to to rap while I'm streaming. I, I, I think it's usually better to listen to like soundtracks or non-English uh, music because I can like just, I sometimes like lose my train of thought if I'm listening to people talk in my ear. I think I wanna play the T-West on turn one. Oh no, I wanted to play the map so I could chalice on one on turn two. Whoops. So maybe I'll go three man on turn two into map chalice on turn three. Yeah, I like the initial D soundtrack. But, you know, I, I, I do like rap a lot. Um, kind of grew up on it. But it's hard, hard to listen to while I'm streaming. Not a big Meek Mill fan, though. I really like, like, you know, I, I think Kendrick is my, you know, pick for favorite, if you guys want to know. I'm a big Kanye fan, too. Um... I've been listening to Big Grams a lot lately too, which is a uh, big boy from Outcast. It's it's him and then a couple of other people. I can't actually remember their names. But they did like one album and it's really, really good. Yeah, maybe not the best time to admit that you're a Kanye fan. Yeah, but uh, what's the name of the the, the album? But it, it's it's really really good. The the Big Grams album. A lot of bangers on that one. Yeah, Big Big Boy's like solo stuff is really good too. And of, of course, I'm a I'm a big Outkast fan. I just lo I love Outkast to death. Um, but I was really impressed with Big Boy's solo stuff. You like Chalice on two? I think I concur. I think I concur. I don't know if I would have come to that conclusion on my own, but I'm into it. Was there ever a moment to be proud of Kanye? Uh, yeah, there there was. I think. I don't know. I I've been listening to Kanye for a long time, and I really want to obstructionist the turn, so I think I'll leave that up by playing a Chalice on one. Now, I've been listening to Kanye for a long time. He was He's definitely gone through a lot of changes. Oh my gosh, I just totally let it resolve. I just totally blanked. Whoops. Yeah. Yeah, Kanye had, you know, this like one month period where he was in like this really bad car wreck and his mom died and um and his fiance left him maybe maybe it wasn't a one month period but it it was it was a pretty small period of time and it kind of broke him as a person it was pretty early into his musical career I, I got into Kanye around the time he released um, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, which is just one of the best albums ever made. Um, and he wasn't he wasn't like he is now back then. At least I don't remember him being that way. All right, let's condescend this. Yeah, he's got a song called Through the Wire where he's, um, his jaw is wired shut and it's, it's, you know, it's, it's better. It's, I guess I should say it's not as, it's, it's maybe not as, you know, moving if you know, you know, how his career ended up. But at the time, 
his career was like just taking off and for the longest time he was like a producer that people liked and he was you know really good at making beats but no one wanted him to rap and he had like just you know kind of gotten his foot in the door and then he gets in this huge car wreck and his jaw is wired shut and and he thinks it's going to be the end and it's honestly kind of a miracle that it wasn't yeah, I thought about that, Ben, but I, I, I think it's just better to not because they know about the they know about the obstructionist. I believe Kanye was the one who first proclaimed Dark Twisted Fantasy as one of the best albums ever made, and now people just say that. I mean, I I didn't know that Kanye said that it was, but I I just genuinely believe that it is. I guess we can tap our opponent out if they just replay it off of the repeal. Didn't play around this very well. Do you just have all the mana in the world and we have a we have an island? I think I want to get, um, oh, the T West is already in play. Guess Academy Ruins. Yeah, we just, like, our, our deck is not, you know, just bangers to top deck. So you're saying there's a chance. I'm gonna try to to get him a bit. I think. I think I'm gonna try to bounce the moon, and then when they replay it, make a huge shark. Why does this deck only play one shark typhoon? I don't understand. I think the deck should just play four, you know? Just feels like the perfect card for the deck. I know that I'm the, you know, the, the Shark Typhoon stand and everything. But I just don't understand. And I also don't understand just playing just the, like a one of of all your other payoffs, but like two Mind Slavers. And, and even like Mind Slaver is like the one threat that I would like almost surely play only one copy of. Because it's so slow and so hard to get a hold of, but having access to like one of seems better. Imagine playing around anything here. Can't relate. They bolted me real quick there, huh? Wow. Oh, they bolted themselves. Well. I'm actually going to cut the Sundering Titan. Only hits two lands when it comes down. All right, I'll keep this. Yeah, I remember the blue white Tron deck. I remember when Sword of the Meek got unbanned. It was it was kind of popular. There was a couple people at my F and M who played it. Nice. Wasn't expecting that to resolve. We haven't cast the Gifts Ungiven. This deck is playing one Gifts Ungiven, just like every deck in Mono Blue Tron. Just play one copy. We'll draw it in the perfect perfect spot every game. Talismans are better turn three because you can hold up remand. I didn't think there was much I was going to want to remand that turn. And we also are only able to hold up remand if the Talisman resolves anyways.
Don't think we fight over this here. Oh no, it resolved. Now I have to figure out what we're doing. So we could get power plant, tower, map, ruins. Seems okay. Seems very slow. But I think we have time in this matchup. T West to two for Trump piece. That could be the the play. So get like we could get we could have gotten map, power plant, tower, T West. I think this is very similar at least. <clears throat> All right, we got a game plan. We have a game plan. We need the ruins in play anyway. I think we can just play it, be kind of slow. All right, they're gonna Mystic Sanctuary back Cleansing Wildfire, which kind of stinks. We're three and one at the moment. I once played against a mono blue Tron player who was playing like eight basic islands. And I was on like a Rin and Six Ghost Quarter deck and it took forever to get all the basics out of their deck. But I did it. There's the last island. Should we abandon this Tron plan? Maybe. Yes. There's a Crucible on the board, yeah. I didn't bring it in because we didn't see any wildfires in game two. Maybe I'm supposed to Obstructionist the Sanctuary trigger there. Could have Field of Ruin then, but we don't have any more basic islands in the deck. Can we snap thirst and hold up remand? We can. I think that's going to be our game plan. So I think I'd like to go for snap thirst in response to the pyromancer, you know, just before they get, if they're going to fight over this with counter spells, I, I don't want the pyromancer to be in play, of course. Ballista's pretty good. This is the third mine. Could just be off of the Mindscaper plan. I think I'll just discard these two lands. Hmm. Don't feel great about that, I guess. Have they played a land already? They, I don't think they have, but if they had it, we could have maybe remanded the wildfire. I'll just remand the pyro. Yeah, maybe we could just like plan to get back the mind slaver. That that could have been better. Okay, but we're not getting um, we're not getting uh wildfire this turn, which is good. I'm gonna play a two two ballista. I will fight over this with uh, the Condescend, I think. They're gonna remand it. I guess we just let that go and then just re replay the 2-2 Ballista and then they can't really have anything to stop it. We do Tron next turn if they don't wildfire, but I'm sure they will wildfire. Yeah, they targeted the they targeted the Academy ruins. So does that mean they have a second copy of wildfire? It's kind of good for us. 
Yeah, this has been happening for a while. I I quietly think that someone did this as a joke and has thinks it's funny that Pyromancer makes this token now. Just a little conspiracy theory, I guess. Yikes. Double Stone Rain feels bad. Yeah, that's the uh, that is the voice of Resurgence art. I guess only plays two sanctuary, I would guess. Yeah, I don't I don't really think they can attack there. And they and they agree it looks like. Um We're out of power plants, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, no more Tron for us. Just gonna pass it back. Kind of feels like a dubious attack. We're at 20, we just have more pressure. I feel like they'd want to see, like whatever, if they have a threat to play, I feel like they'd want to see if it resolves first. And now we have Dismember for the token. <laughs> so everything's going real well. I just run out like two obstructionist to pressure them. Wow, they just did nothing. They have all this mana. So I guess their hand is all counter spells. So maybe it's better to not give them credit or targets for these counter spells and just put counters on the ballista. Yeah, that I think that this this attack was very loose. All right, so these two pings are free. We can we can ping again to 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 counter the petty theft, but I think I'd rather have ballista in hand. So let me go ahead and attack for two, and then think. I think I want to lead on a thirst. Try to keep hitting lands. I was also okay if this gets countered. At this point, just kind of not that into the Mind Slaver. Not that into discarding either. So I'll just main phase this, which they do kind of have to answer. Why are our talismans blue white and not blue black? There's one engineered explosives in the deck. <laughs> But I, I agree, uh, a bit dubious. All right, I'm not going to uh, obstructionist this. I think it's just better to cast it as a threat. Do I think the current package would be better than the treasure maze pack package? Yeah, I do. I mean, I'm not certainly not a mono blue Tron master, but I think Karn is really nice because you just don't have to have Tron in play for it to be good. You know, you can just kind of counter a couple spells, then play it. I think it's very good if you have a ton of extra mana. Um, you know, I think that's one of the reasons why Karn is so good in other Tron decks is because it's a four mana threat you can play if your opponent's disrupting your lands. And I think that, I, I guess I think it would be good in this deck too. Because of that. Alright, so this attack is lethal. So I'll, I'll lead on, you know, what is one of the worst spells in my deck. Or in my hand, or maybe I should say weakest, that but just demands a counter spell here or or something. I just have two as well. Yeah, yeah. You can even get to play the mind slaver in the sideboard instead of the main deck, which is nice. But we four one. It was a really weird league. I felt like it was kind of a soft one, to be honest. This is the second week in a row I've been paid to play Mono Blue Tron, and it's the second week in a row that I'm walking away still not really getting it. Um, I think that my evaluation... <laughs>